This is a weekly love reading for Leo. This is the power of one reading, so there's only one card, and then I'll have charms that'll add on to it or, you know, give you something out of the norm. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we have the death card, and we have literally eggs on toast, or like I like to call it because I make my own bread, Martian food. Um, but <laughs> yeah, my mom gets pissed when I make purple toast, but you know, I made the bread, I make the toast. Anyway, so let's see. Okay, so the death card um, about your relationship or potential one is going to be don't let the strangeness or newness about the relationship turn you timid or introduce self-doubt. You may not like, uh, you know, you might, <laughs> might not, eh, you might not like what you're doing, but your heart is paying attention. There, this new love can show you the facets of yourself that you have been ignoring for a while or you thought didn't exist anymore. If after a while you you feel that this romance is not satisfactory, it may be that you're no longer the same person that was first entered into the dating scene. Enjoy what you find lovable about this person and don't waste the energy on meaningless regrets. Perhaps you both need this point of change. So there's a there's a sense that you know this person it might be somebody from your past, an ex that's being rekindled uh, feelings for you, and you're just giving it a chance. Or it could be somebody new that's kind of on your same wavelength level, or a friend. So it's there's some uh, familiarity here. Okay, so we have the eggs on the Martian toast, and then we have all these charms, okay? So we have the wishing rock, so you're wishing for somebody. Uh, there's a dream. There is, see the wishing rock with the line down it. We have dream. We have celebrate life. That's really small. Hopefully it gets it. I don't know what my camera's doing. It says celebrate life, so. Yeah. And then there's the uh, red thread, which is usually the twin flame tie. So it could be that you're both different um, parts of each other or like the complete opposite. Okay, so we have green star, we have red star, we have some sequins. So green star is going to be either money, success. The red star is going to be ambition and passion. This is uh, the sequin and the white rhinestone are going to be purity or mystery. It's something that hasn't been divined or defined yet. So we have the, I think it's the Foca. It's different for a lot of different uh, religions. Somebody told me that in the comment section when I was doing charms like way back when I started doing my channel. Uh, so it's, uh, it's something that you have three chances on. So this uh, relationship could have been third time's a charm, it could be a marriage, or it could be that you had three different chances with this person. We also have the moon and the stars around it. So there's some mystery here and some hope. And we have a lot of these little ones. We even have a star here. gold star. So there's a bit of hope, a bit of um, wanting the future to pan out. 
We do have the birthstone of September and of December, so it could be your um, person's birthstone, or it could be when you meet this person, or when you met this person, because there is familiarity. There's a broken shell, meaning that there was something lost in the midst of it. And then there's the purple uh, star, which is um, some type of either respect, royalty, or um, some other type of commitment that's made in this relationship. Also, we have another green one, so it's like the green light. There's good things here. Um, there's a lot of positive things to look forward to. So, uh, as as far as this uh, reading goes, I feel like you're going to learn a lot from this person, and they might learn a lot about you as well. But it might seem like this person is kind of, like, ready to, you know, take a relationship to the next level. You might not be, however. You're just kind of feeling this person out. So you both have to kind of get on the same page, whether you're going to continue this relationship or cut it short because of insecurities. Um, I believe that's on your part, though. Anyway, Leo, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. It's brief, but it's like a potential love reading, so um, there could be somebody who has potential interest in you that could develop into something bigger or more um, sustainable over time, so yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.